Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna teach you how to embed a Google map into your project. This is very useful if you're building a website for a client that wants you to embed one of these maps into the website that you're building for them. So here I have this particular address. And as you can see, you can actually convert it into this. So you can see the actual building. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. And that's what we're gonna be learning how to do in this video. All right, guys, before we get started, I want to mention that I'm using Merkle's green theme. Just in case you like it, go ahead and check it out. I think it looks very, very nice. So Merkle's green theme. All right, the first thing we want to do is go to Google and search for the address that we want to get the Google Maps for. So let's open up our browser and you could either type in the exact address or you can type in just a general address of the location that you're looking for. For example, I'm gonna look for the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. So I'm just gonna type in Palace of Fine Arts Theater. And all we have to do is click on Maps. Click Share, Embed a Map, and then click Copy HTML. All right, we can exit out of there. And all we have to do is just paste it inside of our project here. And there's the Google Maps for that location. All right, so what if we want to resize this? You have two options. You can either change the width and height through here. For example, I'm gonna change the width to 800. And as you can see, the width is now 800. But I actually recommend doing it this other way. So we're gonna change this to 100% for the width and the height. And now we're gonna place this iframe inside of a container. So let's create a container. Let's copy and paste this in here or cut and paste, I should say. All right, and now we're gonna control the width and height with CSS. So let's get access to the container and we're gonna change the width, let's say 100% and let's give it a height of 600 pixels. Of course, th this could be anything that you want. And now the width is 100% and the height is 600 pixels. And this doesn't have to be percent, of course. Let's say that we want it to be 500 pixels instead. And now, as you can see, it's 500 pixels. So let's change this back to 100% just so we can see it a little bit better. And this is actually pretty cool because it shows you the exact address here. And also you can convert this into this so you can actually see the actual buildings and stuff. So this is the place that I got the address for. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Please hit the like button if you thought this video was helpful. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.